Thank you very much, uh, dear participants of ICD meeting. The current tasks of higher education institutions for their further internationalization can be better understood in the light of evolution of trends over the past 60 years. St stage one. Soon after the Second World War, uh, that resulted in the development of national liberation movement and the emergence of new independent states, mostly in Africa, Asia, and uh, Latin America, many developed countries started to solve the task of manpower training for these new developing countries. In fact, the donor countries in this period solved their own geopolitical objectives, the training of the future elite for the developing countries. The world was divided into two ideological camps. Therefore, young people from some developing countries went to study in socialist countries, while young people from other countries preferred to study in capitalistic states. Stage two. Starting in the early 70s, within the framework of the ideological confrontation of the two camps and uh, the need to resolve controversies between two political systems pertinent to scientific and technical progress findings, the achievements of the first stage regarding foreign students, large-scale intake and training were enhanced by a variety of new forms of export of education services. The formation of foreign branches of universities, educational programs, franchising, joint universities, and so on. The internalization of university at this period acquired a new significant element that was the development of international cooperation research and competition in scientific sphere. Academic exchange programs for researchers, including youth, came on the scene. Industrialized countries strived to attract and retain most talented young graduates. As a result, at the turn of the 90s of the last century, the international scientific cooperation became one of the most important factors of the scientific development as a whole and of the university's development. In particular, as evidenced by various international research projects, for instance, in space, nuclear energy, and other expensive fundamental research. The international recognition of universities' scientific achievements became largely the basis for universities' international rankings. At the same time, the next stage three became the processes of higher education Interstellation that began in this period were largely subject to globalization process. The previously prevailing bilateral relations and cooperation programs were replaced with various international, regional, and global education related networks and alliances. As a result, large regional conventions on recognition of studies, diplomas, and degrees, for example, the Lisbon Convention, the UNESCO and Council of Europe in 1997, accords to create common higher education area, Bologna process in Europe, and so on, started functioning against, against bilateral agreements on the equivalence of educational instead. These processes 
culminated in the decision of the UNESCO World Higher Education Conference, Paris, July 2009, on the harmonization of overall regional higher education systems of the world in Asia, Africa, Latin America, and the Arab world, North America, on the principles of the Bologna process that led the basis for the common European higher education area. It is important to emphasize that each successive stage of uh, internalization neither repealed nor replaced the previous stage of the higher education internalization, but rather developed it, supplementing previous achievements by new trends in the universities, international activities in education and research. Nowadays, almost all the previously involved trends of internationalization are being in use. They have been largely investigated and are well known in the university environment, up to specific technologies of the so-called export of education services. We have sufficient grounds to claim that we are now entering a new stage, the first stage of higher education intercession. It is universities' intercession at home. Its tasks stem from the globalization processes that states and the world communities are facing. Indeed, under the conditions of modern economies and knowledge-based societies, development and democratization, one of the most important tasks of a modern university is to train graduates who can work within global competition in international teams, who can live in tolerance with multinational and multi-confessional communities under the conditions of occupation, mobility, and uh, labor migration. And these issues are not only aimed at training foreign students and attracting foreign professors to home universities as one of the most important tasks of the previous stages of intercession, which is still one of the most important educators in various rankings of universities. New challenges of universities intercession at home, not as much view the university Interstellation as a multiple process that involve either just a small amount of foreign students and professors coming to the home university or a small amount of the home university students and professors going abroad. One of the major goals set by states, communities, and economies for universities is to train graduates to live and work in a globalizing world. To reach the above goal, the universities have to cope with the crucial task of the intercession of their domestic students and professors, overwhelming majority. The above task suggests new significant requirements for the intercession of almost all the spheres of university activities. This trend is actually not entirely new. In fact, this new understanding of the higher education intercession was evolved in some countries by 2010. The pioneers in this area were Australian universities and the Australian government that developed the domestic implementation of the higher education intercession at home as a state policy, as a complex system of measures. One of the most advanced European countries in this area are, is the Netherlands with its universities and the educational system as a whole. East European universities and uh, universities from CIS countries, except at the top of them, are rated in the world university rankings as relatively less developed in terms of the intercession indicators, even at the level of the above three stages. And these universities continued the traditional work of above first three stages of uh, 
internationalization, to enhance the share of foreign students in the universities, to attract foreign professors, to increase the proportion and to raise the role of researchers' international cooperation, to develop international education and tolerance among students, and so on. Nevertheless, nowadays, all the above should not be regarded as separate goals, but as supporting instruments for the universities' intercession at home, and should also be aimed at the intercession of the university students, faculty, and staff overwhelming majority. To make the university community turn towards the new ideology and tasks for the university's intercession, systematic and sufficient solutions should be found within the state's framework. Without the state's support, if only to take into account this problem and call for the required intercession, even it is right, even if it, if it is right, the amateur, amateur performance in this case, if not misleads to a self-cooked inefficient activities, then at least it will certainly slow down the process of universities' intercession at home. In our view, this last list of problems on the universities' intercession at home is far from being complete, and it shows in particular the diversity and the depth of challenges that universities face in terms of intercession at home. But the experience of People's Friendship University of Russia that enrolled more than 16 full-time thousand students, including 37% full-time foreign students from 150 countries each academic year shows the possibility to find successful solutions to the above tasks on the universities intercession at home, including to develop youth multiculturalism. Let us outline just some of the experiences to promote youth multiculturalism. The university has drafted a set of measures to bring up, to bring up students in the atmosphere of recognized values of world culture, respect for the traditions and customs of other peoples and confessions. The university draws particular attention to the creation and support of various students organizations and public associations of foreign students. Currently, the university has four regional associations of foreign students. You may see the structure of these 102 associations. And uh, the basic goals of these foreign students' national communities may include and include in our university to strengthen the, the unity of students from foreign countries not only, but to collaborate with the university's administration and dean's offices in training skilled personnel for their home countries, to bring up specialists in the spirit of friendship between nations, to get the university's international community acquainted with the national traditions, history, and culture of different countries and peoples by organizing and holding national exhibitions, festivals, weeks, and days of culture, Parties timed of the parting time parties time to the dates significant to different foreign countries. The university students, faculty, and the staff in a variety extra curricular activities, cultural, sports, and so on. The regional and the national associations of foreign students annually organize and hold more than 500 international events, meetings, conferences, round tables, exhibitions, parties dedicated to the dates significant for their countries, days and weeks of the culture of different world nations, various sports events at the university, and so on. 
the university has established a recognized international standard code of honor, honor in response to challenges that international communities face and to the need for the comprehensive international activities of the university. The university brings up the students, staff, and faculty members in the atmosphere of tolerance to be able to live and work in the multinational, multi-confessional environment. Every year, on November 16th, on the International Tolerance Day, a ceremony of signing of the Tolerance Declaration of the People's Friendship University of Russia student community by the heads of the university's students' organization is held at the university. The Tolerance Declaration of Student Community is signed by the heads of more than 150 student organizations acting at the People's Friendship University of Russia. The university ensures conditions for a tolerant living on university campuses, largely on the principle of students' international settlement and creates conditions in view of the national peculiarities in the infrastructure. Obviously, we, if we set the goal for universities in translation at home, that envisaging the internationalization of students, faculty and staff, absolute majority, then it is People's Friendship University of Russia comprehensive approach to the internationalization of overall university activities that is a must. And it is People's Friendship University of Russia comprehensive system of interstellation that allows to realize the university motto, be united by knowledge, science unescamus, and inter alias, such a system allows the university to set the, and successfully solve the task of bringing up the world's elite and primarily professional rather than political for more than 150 countries each academic years. Thank you very much.